are you connected to the PC via USB and allow the drivers to install. Connect the device up to the USB cable and plug it into your computer. You should now see Windows attempting to install the drivers for the device. Once installed, it should show up as a new COM port. This is good. Your device is now connected up and we can now communicate to it via a serial connection. Now we need to download our integrated development environment. This is a piece of software which contains nearly everything required to write our Lua code and deploy it to the ESP8266. Find the link in the description of this video below to the homepage of the ESP Lua tool. Scroll down and select the download link. Once downloaded, you should now have a zip file containing your IDE. Extract this zip file to a good location. I'm going to use my desktop. Once it has extracted, you should now have a folder containing the necessary files for the ESP Lua to load. It should be noted that the software does require the Java runtime environment to be installed on your machine. If you don't have this installed, I recommend you check the video link in the description for a video on how to install this. On the right hand side, you can see an option to select which serial port we will be using. Once the correct one is selected, let's now click the connect button. By pressing the reset button on your Node MCU module, it should display the boot up message from the Node MCU. Congratulations, your Node MCU is now talking to the IDE. Let's upgrade the Node MCU firmware to the latest version. This is going to require another tool, but it's all made super easy by the links provided within the IDE. From the links menu at the top of the application, select the Node MCU download latest firmware. Make sure you select the option which is not the development version. We want to ensure we're running the most stable version available. This will lead you to a page to download the latest version of the firmware. Save the BIM file to your computer. Now, back in the app, let's select the links option once more. This time, select Node MCU download latest flasher. This will take you to a GitHub page containing the source code and the compiled flashing tool. On the right hand side of the page, there's an option to download the zip file. Select this option and save the zip file to your computer. Once again, I'm going to be downloading this to my desktop. If ESP Lua is still running, close it down now. We won't be needing it for this next step. Unzip the flasher tool to your desktop and open up the folder. Inside this folder, you should find two additional subfolders containing the 32-bit and 64-bit flashing tool. Most people running on a modern computer will want to be using the 64-bit version. Open up this folder and run the tool inside. You should now be presented with the Node MCU flashing tool. From the tabs located at the top, select the one titled Config. In the first field on the page, which should be highlighted green, select the small gear icon on the right. This will provide you with a dialog to select which firmware bin file you wish to flash. Select the firmware file you downloaded earlier. Once selected, return back to the first tab titled Operations. Ensure your Node MCU device is plugged into the USB port on the computer and click the flash button. You should now see your Node MCU reboot and after a few seconds the LED on the module will begin flashing rapidly and the progress bar within the tool should start increasing. By selecting the log tab at the top of the tool you can see an output of what is currently happening. Make sure your Node MCU is not unplugged during this step as it could cause corruption of the firmware. Once a green tick at the bottom of the tool appears and the Node MCU LED is no longer flashing rapidly, your firmware has been successfully upgraded to the latest version. Let's close down the Flasher app and open ESP Lua in the same way we did before. Select the correct COM port and click connect. Restart your device by pressing the reset button on the Node MCU. You should now see a boot up message in ESP Lua. Congratulations, you now have an ESP8266 running the latest version of Node MCU firmware. Let's now write a quick bit of Lua code to test the device. In the video description below is the code required to make the LED flash on for one second and then off for one second in an infinite loop. 
Copy that code and paste it into your code editor on the left hand side of the ESP Lua IDE and click the button titled Send to ESP. You should see the serial monitor on the IDE is writing out the code and sending it to the ESP module. You should now see the LED which is connected to pin 0 start flashing. Because the code is an infinite loop, the device must be hard reset to regain control.